Hi guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. Today we're sharing a twists and winding braid hairstyle that was actually inspired by Pretty Girl 79 on Instagram. To begin with, we have created uh, five long rectangular sections of hair and secured them with elastics. It's all along here up along her forehead area. And then in the back, I've combined all the rest of the hair into a low ponytail near the nape of the neck. Okay, water will help you cut down on flyaways here. Now with that center ponytail up on the top middle, divide it into two pieces, a left and a right. Then the ponytail on the right, you're gonna do the same thing, divide it into two pieces. So you're going to take the center's right section and the next ponytail over its left section. So now you're going to pass that right one over the left one and then twist to the right and pass it to the left. Twist to the right and pass to the left. Twist to the right pass to the left. So you're going to continue that same process all the way down um, until this twist reaches the ponytail at the nape of the neck. And then I just temporarily uh, clip it to the ponytail so it won't unwind. Okay, so moving over here to the next ponytail on the far right, you're going to divide it in half. And just as you did before, you're going to combine those two and twist them until it reaches the ponytail and add it to that clip so it won't unwind. Now this piece on the far right, I'm actually going to create a regular three strand braid. You're not twisting this, you're going to braid it. But with this braid you're going to go further down until you almost reach the ends and you will want to secure the end of the braid with a clear elastic. Once you're done with that braid, you're gonna move over to the left half of the head and you're going to divide that ponytail to the left of the center into two pieces, just like the other ponytails, and you're going to combine it with the center ponytail there to make another rope twist. Once again, you're gonna twist till it reaches the ponytail and add it to that clip temporarily and again, you're going to make another rope twist with these sections here, bringing it the same length down. And then that far left section that's remaining, create a regular three strand braid like you did on the right side and secure the end with a clear elastic once you've braided the majority of the way down. So once you're all done, you're going to take those four twists and secure them to the base of the ponytail with an elastic. And then comes the fun part. I have a topsy tail which really helps with this because you take the tip of the topsy tail and pass it through your rope twist. Now the design I created was just random and I love how it turned out. You can watch how I did it or you can just pass them through however you would like. Um, to create your own design. So the sky's the limit with this last part. Um, one thing to note is you can also just weave them over and under these twists without a topsy tail, but I wanted them to actually stay put and doing it with a topsy tail kind of makes them be fastened in those twists. So once I've passed that braid through the first two twists on the left, um, I let that be and then I moved over to the right side to repeat the same process, trying to keep them about the same um, level down on the twists as I did on the left side. And then one thing to note is I didn't pull these so tight um, here on the right twist. I loosened that back up so it kind of made a winding, um, kind of almost a loop there on the side of that twist. So however you desire this to look in the end is up to you. So I'll just let you watch what I did and uh, then we'll finish it up at the end with some pictures and a look at the finished style.
All right, so once you're just about out of braids to wind around, um, all I did was cross those over on top of the ponytail there for the finished look. And to keep them in place, I just secured them with another elastic underneath her ponytail. Here is a finished look at her hairstyle. It turned out so cool, so pretty. Um, I did wrap the base of her ponytail with some hair to hide the elastic, so you can do that or put a hair accessory on top to cover it, but I wanted you to be able to see that final little crisscross at the bottom. So here are some more pictures of the finished product as well. Please comment and let us know what you think of this one. It's a great style for summer or for winter. It'll hold up great under a hat as well. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.